wanted to show you our infrastructure for buying and flipping storage units. We put in this big, big shed. I guess it's not officially a building because it doesn't have a foundation, but it's a big shed, almost 200 square feet. Then we got another 100 square feet over here. We, we've got, and we added a building, or actually a screened-in porch to the back where we do a lot of processing. We've added it a sidewalk from the driveway. And we got a mascot. It's a great cat. And if you can see, the space in between these two buildings is a large piece of land here. Relatively large for what we need is what I'm talking about. This is going to take the mother load building. It's going to be big, kind of like a barn in between here. Now, not everybody in the house knows about this yet, so don't tell my wife about it, but we're going to get this probably next year. We'll see. But it's in the works. So we have plenty of room to expand. And I just wanted you to get an idea of what it takes to really have space to do this without any overhead. You don't want to have to, or at least we don't want to have to have any overhead at all. Zero overhead. Not a zip. The last location. Just got a unit over there, right down the street from here, for 80 bucks. We'll see what happens. It's my buddy Jerry. He's a uh, he's a main man around here, man. Yeah, Love my man Jerry. And we got a we got a truck. We got some tubs. And we got some pictures and a garbage can. I'm all in. I'm gonna come back and we'll check this one out here in a little bit. That's a. Well, it's uh, Wednesday, December 26, 2018. And I'm just getting home with the uh, Bardstown Road locker that I just picked up. Now, I paid $80 for this mess because it was obvious it was a woman's locker. And I really believe this is a chance to maybe pick up some jewelry, so that's why I bought the locker. But I've done kind of an overview on it, and I may be wrong. I don't know. I haven't dug into anything. I've just looked on the top. And we're not going to dig this yet. I'm going to wait a minute, eat dinner, and I'm going to come back out and uh, go through this. Because I've been on this caravan all day long, and this is about all I could come up with today. So I failed, but we can see if I can redeem myself with something in this locker so I will let you peek into this see that's very uninspiring in there right now so we're just gonna have to see so after dinner I'll get back on this well before we dig into this locker that I just bought today at Bardstown Road uh, that selling this desk that I got in the doo-doo brown locker downtown Somebody from uh, Craigslist is picking this up, so that's going today. So when the time comes, we're going to get that sold. We're going to look through some of this stuff. I kind of peeked in here, guys, so I did see one thing I'll show you. It's not a big deal. You can get an idea of what's in here. <clears throat> We got a, looks like a Eiffel Tower wine rack there. Some couch cushions. Now yeah, maybe I'll go ahead and show you some of this stuff while I wait. What's that? Looks like a Canadian maple leaf. Oh great, we're going to make a fortune on that. I'll tell you where the money is. Here's the money right here. Yeah. Oh boy. You know what? I was thinking that was a piece of corn because that would have been pretty apropos for this situation. Maybe. Maybe not. That's a little candle holder. Here, here's the thing, guys. This, this bin right here, that's a goose egg. So our first tub. All the other... I mean, you might have... If you got like a little flea market thing, I, you could have two dollars here. I'd say the tub's worth a few dollars. So we'll say that that tub there is probably worth five dollars. 
we got this little garbage can here full of oh guess what it's garbage these goose egg that's fine what do we got here oh let's see these oh this is Barbies Barbies and more Barbies this must have been the girls Barbie collection and all of her little spoons. Oh, they're made of buffalo nickels. So these are uh, these buffalo nickels on there. These are nice. I would say there's okay. They're worth a few dollars. And the Barbie stuff. We might we might try to sell some of that on Facebook. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know enough about this. I think we'll let Julie look at this. But the little spoons are cool. So we might have ten dollars there. So we're at fifteen eighty for the locker. Okay. We got we got the little wine rack. I think five. Goose egg, goose egg. Uh, this trunk, it is an old trunk. I thought maybe it was a remake, but <clears throat> you can see the paper is peeled off of it. And this side, the leather strap is worn off. So by itself, we might be looking at maybe forty to fifty dollars. So we're gonna probably that's just some homemade. It's a homemade. <laughs> I'm not gonna go there, guys. Well, I looked in here earlier. Sorry about the camera work. This blows. Okay, we got two dollar coins. So there's worth that's a Canadian dime. About two dollars. Okay, we got to do better than that. What else we got in here, you might think? <clears throat> oh, the ruby slippers. Now we know where that went. Oh, Lord have mercy. These are ceramic shoes. Not sure what the purpose of ceramic shoes are. So I'm going to have to call that a goose egg, folks. These are... Uh, so... The contents... The contents of this trunk... From everything I could see here... I did look in there. That's just a bunch of notes. Here's the other. Here's the other uh, ruby slipper. Wild eye designs, made in China. Oh, that's going to be worth a freaking fortune, isn't it? All right, we got a sheet. There's a extension cord. So the trunk itself. The trunk itself. Forty, fifty bucks. Okay. We got some wall art. That's going to be a goose egg. That one's pretty, but it's it's going to be a goose egg. That's pretty. Going to be a goose egg. Goose egg and a goose egg. Okay. So we're still done. we're still underwater a little bit. Let's go around this side. Maybe we can do a little bit better over here. <clears throat> oh. What have we got here? Oh. We got a toaster. <laughs> you know what? That is a goose egg. I want to. What I'm going to do here, folks. When you get this, you got to do the right thing. All these utensils and stuff, I can donate to Wayside Christian Mission. So that's a goose egg, but it does good. So we're doing a good thing here. So I feel good about that. That's fine. But that's not why I'm in business. But now, what you see here is a goose egg. <clears throat> You've got some nice kitchen stuff and a toaster. And what else you got in here? Oh, some cups. You know, we're going to get stinking rich off these. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and say it. This is a goose egg, folks. What we have here is a goose egg. Now you might say, well, Mark, are you going to lose money on this? Uh, I don't know. I haven't looked in this last tub yet. Are you wanting to look in there? You know, you can feel the drama now. Oh, oh, what do we got here? Well, here's something I actually need. It's a brand new pair of shelves. You can mount them on the wall, and they're sort of decorative, but you put a board on it, and you got a shelf. I actually could use those out in the shed. So I'll call that two bucks. Uh... Got some more uh, shot glasses. I've got a collection going of these. 
probably 50 or 60 of them. Here's about another 10 to 15 of them. That's probably two bucks. So you got you got some of this bullshit. I mean, <clears throat> excuse my language. You got some of this. So you got a tape gun. I can use that. Another ceramic shoe. This is getting weird. Three ceramic shoes. Uh, so <laughs> okay. Look, guys. Sometimes you buy a unit because you see something in it that, like I bought the unit because it had that trunk in it, right here. I thought, okay, and it was obvious to me that it was a ladies locker, so I'm thinking, jewelry. Well, so far no jewelry, but there is a box here marked books. Now, we're going to have to dig them out. Bear with me a second. Let's get over there and see. We've got a little garbage can there. Probably use that. Now these are just not even books. These are just high school. Yeah. So this is just personal shit. Uh, personal stuff, excuse me. Um, maybe there's a few dollars in here. Looking at this locker, I would say today we uh, spun our wheels and didn't make any money. Uh, we took a chance to look for jewelry. Now, I do have to go through here a lot closer, but from ex the experience that I have of buying these storage units, this is just going to be the general merch that we're going to find. Uh, this trunk is the best item in this unit, <clears throat> which is a fail. This is a fail. Um, it's not a horrible unit. It's clean. I like clean units. It was easy. It was a dine and dash variety. You could dine and dine. You remember the old 70s show, how dine and dash? Uh, anyway, the, yeah, you can just grab them and go. These are kind of nice, though. I do like these. But, uh, yeah, I would say we, uh, we didn't really take the horn on this unit per se <clears throat> but uh, I'm gonna call it a break-even and it was a really clean buy easy to get by everything's right here got in one nice item so I got a free shot to look for jewelry which I've got to do a little more digging I'm just giving you a general overlook on this particular buy today. I'm going back on the caravan tomorrow at several more locations. And tonight I'll get all this stuff out of here to have the van unloaded. But uh, we uh, didn't do real well today. <laughs> but that's going to happen. And what we do, we just do the best we can with the locker. I will probably clean this out and we'll put that up there and we'll probably try to get fifty dollars for it and we'll take the first forty or we might try to get more for it and get lucky it just depends on how we're feeling at the time do we want to get it out of the way or do we want to try to get a little bit more money for it or we'll... but, uh, if there's any money at all it's probably going to be in here with these these barbies and that's pretty sad mm -hmm.